So I was thinking for the reveal, what if we just got like balloons and filled them with like blue or pink confetti and then we just pop it? Oh, yeah, no, that that could be fun. <laughs> oh my God, I'm messing with you. <laughs> oh, thank heavens. Oh my God, I was like, holy shit, that is so boring. I mean, I would rather get an abortion than have to sit through that bullshit. I mean, it could work, but we'd have to use some sort of like firearm or incendiary device to like pop the balloon. Sure, but I mean, at that point, we might as well pop something a lot more epic than a goddamn party balloon. What about like dyes? I mean, like dyeing a public body of water, either blue or pink, to let everyone know what form our future child's genitals will take? Exactly. But what would we use to dye the water? Like food coloring? Oh, no. I mean, that would dissolve away in like, an hour. Sure, sure. No, I'm thinking of something like, you know, industrial strength paint. Oh, definitely. Yeah, and you know, like enough of it so that the general public will also know the gender of our child every time they turn on their bathroom faucet to brush their teeth. Oh, let's create like a Flint, Michigan water situation. And then, of course, the third option is just to go to a heavily wooded area and light up a bunch of fireworks in front of our friends and family. Okay, yeah. And the fireworks would be like pink, blue, or black? Yep, exactly. And wait, wait. black. Yeah, black. For what? Pink's for girls, blue's for boys. What's black for? Oh, well, black's for if it's, um, for if it's Samuel's baby. Oh my God. That makes this so much more exciting. I know, right? Holy shit, it's like there's an extra surprise, but it's just for me. Yeah.